Hi everyone, let us learn how to solve a linear recurrence relation with constant coefficients. So here I am taking one example. This is uh, a recurrence relation of degree 2. Okay, how to find a degree of a recurrence relation? It is easy. Here you have an and here I have an minus 2, therefore it is of degree 2. Suppose if you have an minus 3 starting with an, then it is degree 3. For an minus 4, degree 4. So like that. Now, to solve it, first we have to rewrite this equation, a n equal to a n minus 7 a n minus 1 plus 12 into a n minus 2 equal to 0. We bring it one side. Now we need to write its characteristic equation. So characteristic equation is, since it is of degree 2, a n start with r square, so minus 7 r plus 12 equal to 0. Okay. Suppose if you have a n minus 3, we start with r cube and the next term we will write r and uh, r power 0 like that. Now what are the roots of this characteristic equation? This one can be expressed as r minus 3 into r minus 4 equal to 0. It means r equal to 3 and r equal to 4. So these are the roots of this characteristic equation. Now, um, once if you find the roots, we can initially write the solution. The solution is so that is C1 into let me name it as R1 and this is R2 that is R1 power n plus C2 into R2 power n. Okay. So here we know what are R1 and R2. Therefore, so therefore the solution a n equal to C1 into 3 power n plus C2 into 4 power n. Uh, but if you look at the problem, the initial conditions are also given. Here a naught equal to 1 and a1 equal to 5. Now by substituting those initial conditions, we need to find what these constants are. So let's try to find those constants. Uh, let us take the initial conditions. So initial conditions are a naught equal to 1. So this implies if I substitute a naught equal to 1, on the other side we will have c1 into 3 power 0 is 1 plus c2 into, uh, you know, you will get 4 power 0 that is equal to 1. So I am not writing it. Similarly, other condition is a1 equal to 5. So this implies 5 equal to c1 into 3 power 1 plus c2 into 4 power 1. Now we got two linear equations, we need to solve this. So I hope you can easily see the solution, you can multiply the first one with 3 and you can simply subtract so that you will get 5 minus 3 equal to uh, c2. So this implies what is c2? c2 equal to 2 and if c2 is 2, c1 is nothing but uh, 1 minus c2 that is minus 1. Okay, so we got c2 and as well as c1 using these initial conditions. Now let us substitute this c1 and c2 in the solution. So therefore, now the required solution a n equal to c1 that is minus 1 into 3 power n plus 2 into 4 power Okay, now uh, this is what for all n greater than or equal to 0, where n belongs to uh, whole numbers, alright. So this is the solution to the homogeneous linear recurrence relation, right. Now let us do one thing, let us look at uh, one more problem of degree 3. Let us 
let us say if you have a n equal to um, 3 a n minus 1 minus 3 a n minus 2 plus a n minus 3. So, I am not taking any initial conditions, right. So, now let us see what is the solution of this equation. Now, what do you do? You bring this one side a n minus 3 into a n minus 1 plus 3 into a n minus 2 minus a n minus 3 equal to 0. Now, you write the characteristic equation. Characteristic equation is what is it? Um, r cube because it is of degree 3 r cube minus 3 r square plus 3 r minus 1 equal to 0. And you know that this is nothing but r minus 1 whole cube equal to 0. Now, we have we got repeated roots now. Those are r 1 equal to 1, r 2 equal to 1 and r 3 equal to 1. So, we got repeated roots. Now, what will be the solution? Suppose if you get different roots, then the solution is this c 1 into r 1 power n plus c 2 into r 2 power n plus c 3 into r 3 power n. But since we got repeated, so this does not work here because we got a repeated root. So, when we get repeated root, let us see what, what is the solution, all right. So, whenever you get the repeated roots, the solution is going to be it is c 1 into r power n, okay, plus c 2 into n into r power n if it is repeated twice. Suppose if it is repeated thrice, then c 3 into n square into r power n, okay. Suppose if it is repeated one more time plus c 4 into n, n cube into r power n, all right. So, in our situation, uh, 1 is a root of the characteristic equation with algebraic multiplicity 3, okay. Now, the same expression you can write it like this by taking r power n common c 1 plus c 2 into n plus c 3 into n square into r power n. So, like this we can write. Now, what is the solution to the given recurrence relation? So, that is a n equal to c 1 plus n into c 2 plus n square into c 3 into 1 power n. So, therefore, the general solution is going to be c 1 plus n c 2 plus n square c 3, that is it, okay, because 1 power n is 1 only. So, this is how we can solve a homogeneous linear recurrence relation of degree 3, okay. If you are given with initial conditions, we will substitute it here, we will try to find out the constants, all right. So, I hope you understand uh, solving homogeneous linear recurrence relation with constant coefficients.